Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. It is obviously not as good of a day as it could have been if the Flyers were able to actually pull out a win yesterday and not have their biggest blunder of the season against the Sabres. But, you know, those games all happen. You have a handful of those games in every single NHL season. You just have to have, obviously, a little bit less of them in a 56-game season. But it happens, and I think the biggest takeaway from this game was the presence of Sean Couturier obviously not being on the ice. Uh, Sean Couturier, when you make a couple of those what would be a noticeable mistakes with a Selkie winner uh, on the ice to be able to correct them from the back end when some passes kind of trickle out and they don't make the best pass up and Cooch is able to adjust to it, so on and so forth, or make a play when another forward or defenseman would kind of flutter their puck in the defensive zone. He didn't have someone to do such things in last night's game. And I think like the great Jamie Bascal Flyers Nitty Gritty, please check out all our great stuff on FlyersNittyGritty.com. And please also like, comment, and subscribe and click the bell down below if you like what you're hearing from Sports Fanatic News, my YouTube channel. But last night's game, our 5-on-5 five five play really, really, really struggled again, as well as our overall play, obviously. Frost came out early as a positive and looked pretty good on the forecheck in the offensive zone. Made some nice plays, like JJ said, on the telecast, on the forecheck being a pet for the Sabres early on as well, in the other zone as well. So he looked pretty solid in his debut. The best line was obviously the fourth line that was able to pot the goal in the end with Nicholas Albe, Kubel, and Scotty Lawton and Raffle all look good out there again. That line seems to be the high energy, always good defensive line, able to D up anybody. So that line is definitely still rocking and rolling. Other lines, though, I definitely see them being mixed up tonight with how the 5-on-5 five five play has gone especially also the defense. They moved. It's funny. Uh, it seems like everybody thought Provis was going to play Myers, and he's played with everybody but so far. But they moved Sanheim up with Provorov, and that line actually looked really good for the limited amount of time it played yesterday. So I could definitely see that staying the same and doing something like that. I could also see, as Jamie Baskell pointed out, got to give him credit for that, it could be a good idea to put a defenseman like Mark Friedman in the game because he's a very mistake-free, take-it-as-they-come type guy, keep-it-simple-as-can-be type of player. And I think with the way the Flyers are playing on 5-on-5 five five as well, uh, I concur that they kind of need somebody that just kind of keeps it simple and chills out there. And also, Mark Friedman's a guy that plays the game where he probably could, when with a Provorov play alongside Provorov, maybe not getting as many minutes, probably, because that's exactly how Braun is when guys move up with him. You don't see him always out there in the tail end of uh, defending games. But I think he could definitely be able to man that side next to Provorov just because of the way of his game so simple, his game so loose, and he just takes what comes to it, and he's already shown he's proven for the NHL last year and from how he played down below. So, obviously, <clears throat> the Sabres uh, were able to open up this contest early uh, with a goal from Curtis L Lazar, um, which was um, in the end of the first period with about just about four minutes uh, left. And then they got two goals from Sam Reinford at Reinhardt, excuse me, and another from Lazar to make it 4 nothing to pretty much put the game out of way at that point. Uh, Curtis Lazar is a guy that was not expected. That's not a guy you come into a game expecting to have that good of a showing against. He had that one backhander that was able to go in. but uh, And then his other goal, of course. But, I mean, he just, some guys just show up, obviously, on certain nights. Obviously, the two guys that you have to be able to defend are Jack Eichel and Taylor Hall. And that's guys that we were not able to defend yesterday. They were running roughshod every time they were on the ice in our offensive zone. And the Flyers were just not effective defending Taylor Hall and or Jack Eichel yesterday and or obviously Curtis Lazar but or Sam Reinhardt. So your three, three key players really when you come into Buffalo are defending Reinhardt, Hall, and obviously Jack Eichel. And then the other one will probably be Victor Olofsson who's their seventh round pick who has now blossomed into a very nice player. Well, the Flyers did not do that yesterday, obviously. Their 5-on-5 five five play struggled. But as I said at the beginning of the video, this is one game. It is one game that Sean Couturier was not in, excuse me. And when Sean Couturier's back, sorry about that, there's an Amber Alert. When Sean Couturier's back, that could be huge for this team to be able to move back in. And it's also just not going to take one game, or it might take just one game, but it's going to take at least one game is what I meant to say to adjust to Sean Couturier being out of your lineup. I think it is highly beneficial that the Flyers are getting right back on the horse against this Sabres team. 
that just beat them 6-1. to one. And I think they're going to be able to get back on the horse tonight and have a very good rebound game because I think this is a very nice thing that you're able to play them back-to-back. -back. You got really pissed off from yesterday's performance, obviously. You were able to, as your reef said on Twitter, doing a fantastic job, job your reef Wallach for Flies Itty Gritty, covering the game. Uh, they did better supplying pressure towards the tail end of the game. You got to end with some positive. So... If you're able to carry that into tonight's game, which I think will be the case, then the Flyers can build on this. They can win tonight's game, and they can split it one on one, and end this uh, series here with Buffalo with a three to one record to start the season and live to tell about that one blunder of a game. As I said, you always have a handful of those blunder games. Buffalo has some skill. They have a very quick team, and they were able to take advantage of us with that quickness and skill on 5-on-5 five five last night. I do not think that will happen again tonight. I predict a Flyers bounce-back win tonight, and I think that Morgan Frost is going to be able to pot a point in tonight's game, and you're going to see a good game from Claude Giroux as well as Jake Voracek. Have a very great, safe, and pleasant day, everybody. This has been the Sports Fanatic News Flyers post game reaction for the 6 to 1 loss against the Buffalo Sabres. Let's get them back tonight, boys. Let's go Flyers anywhere any anytime anywhere, baby. Peace out, guys.